Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And I want to start my speech in three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, introduce myself. My name is Noval Octaviansa as the closing government. And now, uh, for the, this motion today is this house would impoverish corruptor. So, ladies and gentlemen, but before I want to uh, deliver my statement, we must to know about the corruption. What the corruption? Uh, Undermines the fairness of institution and process and district policies and priorities. As a result, uh, corruption damages the legitimization of regimes, leading to a loss of public support and trust for state and the government institution. So, ladies and gentlemen, we can underline sentence here is that the corruption is undermines and the fairness of institution. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, before I want to rebuttal from the second speaker from the opening opposition. From the second speaker said about the rehabilitation, that the rehabilitation is the best way from to reduce or impoverish the corruptor. But I think it's not the best uh, the best way because uh, the rehabilitation have the different meaning. I mean it's like uh, for different effect too. For the rehabilitation, it means has the properties for for hurt. It's not for the crime. So for the context here, it's the impoverished corruptor, not for the hurt, ladies and gentlemen. So I think uh, when the second speaker said it's not uh, suitable for the impoverished corruptor, but for here, uh, we are from the closing government have the mechanism has the the best of mechanism and from the opening government is not clearly about the mechanism uh, the mechanism so here the mechanism in the guidelines from the word banks to learn, uh, asset recovery unit the asset recovery process can be divided into several steps such as like the stolen asset it means in the stolen asset ladies and gentlemen in all instance uh, the low stolen asset was uh, must be recognized from the balance seat as no future economic benefits from the assets recovery process. It's the relate from the impoverished corruptor. Uh, the first one must to uh, identify all the assets of the corrupt and they uh, they have the corrupt. So for the next is the collecting intelligence. It means the collecting intelligence uh, to find all the data as a proof the, the corruptor and we must do the collecting evidence uh, to find all the data and the information about the corrupt uh, the corrupt and the next is the tracing asset it's mean in the tracing asset is a process by which investigation follow the money so for the next ladies and gentlemen is the securing asset Securing asset, it's mean is the collecting or freezing uh, asset. For example, like the bank uh, bank account uh, of the corrupt. So for the next is about court process. It's mean in uh, that included like the investigation, charging, and discovery. So for the next is the enforcing order. It's mean uh, which one include the more severe case in the corrupt classification ladies and gentlemen so for the, the last is the return of assets so we, when we have the big corrupt and give the back to the government and the the gap in the process from the government so ladies and gentlemen the class uh, the classification process is a force effort that is a part of the investigation stage uh, while the convocation process occurred uh, after at the judge's decision has permanent legal uh, force assets tracking has been carried out since the investigation stage. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to make sure that our argumentation is the best because uh, we have the mechanism for the import the improper I'm sorry for the improper is the corruptor like the stolen asset, Collecting intelligence, collecting evidence, call it, uh, the tracing asset, securing assets, court uh, process, enforcing order, and return of the asset. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. I am Nizar, and I am the second speaker, and I am as the government whip. So, ladies and gentlemen, as today's uh, motion is about the house would impoverish the crafters. So, as we already know that uh, regarding. Regarding to this motion, House would impoverish corruptors. 
And previous speaker, which means in, in the opposition team, says that the impoverished isn't a good idea. Why do, why do you think that uh, that's so? So you, you say that the effective, that's not the effective punishment. So you, you rather say that rehabilitation is the best idea. So uh, I don't think that uh, the rehabilitation is the best idea. So uh, as we already know, or as, as uh, common knowledge that, that rehabilitation is more focused to people who has addiction to a drugs or even for an, a mental mental illness or a syndrome, which means that is or those is really really far different from those cases. So, but of course, from the first, the main purpose is to make it to make it or to make the corruptors make uh, feel a detriment. So, and then impoverished uh, corruptor is the best way to make a corruptor detriment. Why? Basically, doing corrupt is uh, different from doing uh, human error, which means corrupter is a crime, and of course, a crime is always a crime. So you have to make it punish and make it equal. So, in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, so the impoverished the corrupter uh, is take the corruption asset, but how is it going? How to how 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 can be uh, the process itself? So, in here we take the asset but it must be of course to make people around us or people or, or the nation uh, wondering where did it go where the asset go if we if the government take the asset so uh, the mechanism like like already uh, can be by the first speaker by the first speaker is selected which of the asset could bring to the nation or give it back to government and i think that's um some kind of uh, the, uh, the best idea to make it more useful like and then the for example uh, uh, the asset could turn into the, the public facility and uh, or the proceed by the government to make it worth it thank you very much